Joining me right now is Federated Investors, Chief Equity Market Strategist, Phil Orlando. And Phil, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks for having me back, Maria. All indications that we are seeing a slowdown and worries around China, among, uh, among other issues. How do you see the markets here as more earnings have come into play? So you, you had this 20% waterfall decline in stock prices in the fourth quarter of last year. Uh, we thought the market was attempting to price in the prospect of recession this year. Multiples contracted from 18 times earnings down to 14 times earnings. In our view, there's no risk of recession this year. So the rally that we've seen over the last month, 14% rally, the market is starting to price in the fact that, that maybe we're not going to have a recession, but we've had a 14% rally in a month. That's very, very powerful. We, we would absolutely expect some consolidation here over the next month or two, particularly as we've got these critical signposts coming up in the month of March. But as we look out over the balance of the year, we do think that multiples will return to that 18 level, uh, and we're going to end up with a pretty good year. To what do you attribute the slowdown? I mean, we've got earnings in focus, and we're looking at a number of companies either give weaker than expected guidance or miss on the top line. Lockheed Martin, Pfizer, and Verizon are reporting this morning. Uh, Apple is, of course, out after the bell. So when you look at the earnings picture, where in terms of industry are you seeing the most slowdown? So I, I think in a word, uncertainty is what's uh, impacting earnings and guidance to some degree. Uh, you've got the Fed flip-flops that we saw in the fourth quarter of last year, the uncertainty about whether or not the United States and China are going to be able to consummate this trade deal. Uh, you've got Brexit overhanging on the global market and, and certainly the government shutdown, which uh, was up there for 35 days and it was just temporarily resolved last Friday. You, you've got a number of issues there, uh, uh, all of which are impacting companies in some way, shape or form. So with, with earnings up 25 percent, year over year in the first three quarters of last year. This fourth quarter is a little softer. I think we're up about 13%. Uh, so far, we're about a quarter of the way through the earnings season, uh, right. and I think what, what companies are pointing to are some combination of those four issues that I just mentioned. Yeah, you mentioned the, uh, the uh, shutdown. The, the shutdown apparently costing the economy $11 billion, uh, according to new analysis from the uh, Congressional Budget Office, although Larry Kudlow is, dis is disputing that number, and he's going to join us this morning live to talk about it. Uh, the report says that it, it hit $3 billion. That's one-tenth of a percent of economic activity in the fourth quarter alone. So are there sectors that were, that were hit hardest in that regard, or do you want to look at those companies that are large? largely tied to the China trade as one area of the real weakness? So Kevin Hassett, the chairman of the Council of Economic Advisors under Trump, had advised us that the shutdown was going to take about one-tenth of one percent out of GDP per week. Right. Uh, so remember, the shutdown started right around Christmas, so that makes sense that we lost, uh, a, you know, a tick, a tenth of a percent in the fourth quarter, uh, you know, maybe a half a percent here in the first quarter. We're at 1.7 percent GDP growth in the first quarter. Consensus okay. blue chip is around 2223. So we, we think the street's actually a little high and there will be, uh, you know, sort of a downward revision as we yeah. get later in the quarter. But in, in terms of industries, I, I, I think it's really across the board. Across uh, the board. Yeah. Let, me, let me ask you about technology because it's a big week for tech. Apple, of course, the big story today, reporting after the close tonight. The only big tech uh, reporting, Microsoft, Facebook out tomorrow. Amazon is out on Thursday. This is the week that will focus on technology, and that's where really the growth stories have been. Would you want to put new money to work in any of these names ahead of their earnings? Uh, the short answer is probably no. Uh, again, you've had this 14 percent rally here in the last month. Uh, you've got concerns about slowing economic growth both in the U.S. and China. We, we think that those issues will be resolved as we get into the back half of the year. Uh, but right now, uh, you know, why run the risk of, of putting new money to work after you've had a big rally in some of these names ahead of what could be uh, a disappointing earnings number or perhaps conservative guidance? Now, the stock has come down because people were worried about it, so we'll see what the numbers are. Uh, would you at some point go back into tech? What's your favorite group right now, Phil? So the areas that we like best in the U.S. markets uh, are uh, energy, financial services, industrials, uh, and health care. Uh, in terms of looking overseas, uh, emerging markets uh, look very attractive to us. So the areas that have really yep. gotten hit the most are the ones that, uh, that, that we've been attracted to.
All right, we, we will leave it there. So the valuations are better, I guess, is what you're saying. The valuations so, are much more attractive. We think the fundamentals are still very strong. Phil, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks Great so to much. See you. Thank you, Maria. Phil Orlando joining us there.